What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to prevent Discord from cutting out the incoming audio and fixing lag when using the application. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. Sound issues and lag are either caused by an unreliable network connection, because your PC's components can't utilize enough resources to properly run the application, or because of corrupted program files. First, open up Discord and navigate to your Discord server settings by right-clicking the icon and selecting Server Settings. In the Overview tab, make sure to set the server region to where most of the users are located. In my case, that would be Europe. Don't forget to save your changes. Next, navigate to your User Settings and in the Voice and Video section, make sure that your mic is not set too loud or too quiet. Make sure to test your mic's input level using the integrated mic test and adjust your volume using this input volume slider. In addition, I suggest minimizing your application in your system tray while using resource-intensive applications to prevent Discord from lagging out. Next, make sure that the Discord services are all operational. This page will also be linked in the description of this video, where you can inspect the current and past server uptime for the Discord API and other services. In case the servers in your area seem unaffected, then the issue might be related to your own network connection, to software running on your system or to the Discord files. You should also test your own network connection. I prefer to use speedtest.net. Make sure that you have a stable up and download speed and that your ping is not exceeding 100 milliseconds. In case it's higher than 100 milliseconds, then you will have to make a few changes to your network connection. Use an Ethernet cable if you can. Restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. You can then close this window and open up your task manager by right-clicking your taskbar and selecting it. Here, navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. In the Network tab, open up the processes with network activity and after a few seconds, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only end the processes which you know won't break your operating system. Next, open up your command prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. Use the command ping google.com. This command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds, or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow the next tweaks. Use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command, will in any case improve your latency issues. When this is done, we will change your DNS server address in case the audio issues are still caused by your network connection. Use the shortcut Windows key and R and in this dialog box, enter Control and hit Enter. This will open up your control center. From here, navigate to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center and here select your connection. This will open up this window, containing some general information about your connection. Navigate to Properties and lastly, double-click the Internet Protocol version 4. Select to use the following DNS Server Addresses option and as your preferred DNS server, use 8888 and as your alternate DNS server, use 8844. Lastly, in case you still get audio problems with Discord, then you most likely have software running on your system which is hindering you from properly using the application. To fix this, I suggest ending processes from running in your task manager of recently installed programs which can change your files or use up your available resources, such as OBS, Shadowplay, CCleaner or Adobe applications to troubleshoot which program is causing the issue. For more information, 
make sure to check out the guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.